Welcome back, beautiful Aries, to Robin's Realm Readings. I'm bringing you something special for the last two weeks of May. I'm going to do a serenity reading with the sun, moon, sun and moon tarot, and I'm going to bring you a, a goddess guidance oracle card. Um, there's an incredible feminine energy in the air, and Venus is still in Gemini, and so there's this they're represented by the lovers. So something has me wanting to pull these for you guys. Let me tell you that the, the divine feminine energy, these are archetypes. Um, not everybody believes the same way. But I use these as a reference for the feminine energy within the males and the females. We are both, by the way. Um, we have both energies within us, represented by the yin-yang, you know. Black and white. I love that. So I'm just going to bring it to you anyway because I love you very much and I want you to have some kind of a message that is uh, encouraging. Since we're looking at your serenity, it is a general reading. There are bits and pieces that may apply to you and some of it may not at all. And if it doesn't resonate, well, obviously you can, you know, go listen to other readers as well. There's so many that are so good and I listen to them myself. I want to know the, what I like to do is I like to listen to um, certain readers. I'm not going to say names because I love them. Um, and I want to, you know, gather, I want to check, I like to go check facts. I like to see what are the common denominators in every reading. And one time I remember getting, reading uh, about last month, I think it was, every single Scorpio reading. I'm a Scorpio. I'm sorry. I'm going to apply that to myself. But every Scorpio reading, every one of them had the Emperor, Nine of Coins. These type of messages were coming through. And so there's nothing wrong with experiment, experiencing. If you are seeking esoteric knowledge, insight, comfort, um, any of this guidance, feel free to do that. I, I would like for your subscriptions because I bring this to you because I love you. I only want your well-being. I have no other ulterior motive other than maybe I can help you. Um, so let me go ahead and continue pulling this. Find the, find the energy, the goddess energy that's going to come forth for Aries. I'm still working on getting a vision, the camera right. Um, it has something to do with the lens of the camera. So if you can't see all the cards, again, I, keep, I get these complainers. They're working my last damn nerve. These people that are like, um, it's blurry. I'm trying not to be blurry, people. I don't have a whole lot of money, but I sure do have a lot of love and compassion for you. And I'm just intuitive. And so, you know, gripers and complainers, if you complain on my site or any of my comments, I will delete your messages. You're not worthy of my time. I'm bringing this to you as a free gift. So I just thought I'd tell you I love you. And this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. And I want you to feel well. So let's see what messages come through for you. First of all, angels, guides, and, and spirit energies, please help me find the message you want to give to Aries for the last two weeks of May on their progress and their well-being. What would you like to share with them? One more. There it is. You got Irene. Wow, okay. Maybe you've been through some stuff. Um, I'm hoping not too much. I really hope it's not that bad. Irene brings peace. There's no need to worry, as everything is working out beautifully. That's a very serene message for you guys to get right now. I'm awfully grateful you got it. All right, let me see if we can get your message to you. Irene, okay? Here's who Irene is, a Greek goddess <clears throat> whose sisters include the goddesses of law, lawfulness and justice. Irene brings peacefulness to all who call upon her. The Romans referred to her as Pax, which means peace, or in Spanish, Paz. Irene helps us replace worry with faith. She also reminds us to retain our childlike awe and enthusiasm for life. Hey, you guys. Aw. There you go. You got the message of peace. What a great start. 
So remember, these are general energies. Um, these are not to be taken all literally all the time. There's nuances and thoughts and energies and insights and comforts and wisdom. So take what, what you can of it if that resonates. If it doesn't resonate, well, it's okay then, too. You know, it's a free gift of love for you. I, did I tell you I love you? I'm telling you I love you. So Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. This is because I want you to have understanding and serenity. So let's see what energy you have for your serenity reading. A couple of little shuffles and mixes. Mix it up real good. Mix it up so you have your own personal reading. Of course. Silly me. It's kind of late. <laughs> it's so funny because I get so sidetracked sometimes. I have so many things going on. Artistic people are like that, you know. So Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, we'd like a message for you to set this up for them so that they can get a message that will give them some guidance on their serenity. Good. That feels good. Okay. There's your message. Let's see what we got. All right, darlings. This is your foundation card. This is what's crossing you during this two-week time period, at least, because that's all we're covering. This is um, a healing card. This would be an environmental card, I external energy. This is your internal healing, and this is your revelation. Now let's see what you got as your crowning energy. The Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is... Um, They call it science in this deck. This is a Sun Moon Tarot. It's a very simple deck. They're easy to read. It's kind of fun. It's got a different perspective on it. This is, um, let me think, the Six of Swords. This is an air energy, of course. So this would be represented by the, if you were to represent it as a human in your life or someone in your existence or someone you've been dealing with, um, this would be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I don't know who you're dealing with. Uh, this is also very, very mental. And the truth of this card, it's often seen as someone, the energy of taking your insights and going to calmer waters where you shall find your peace. So you are being, this is just a blessing of peace for you. But let's see what your reading gets. Your foundation card is the hermit. So listen, you guys have had to go in. You've had to go in and do some introspection, meditation, deep breathing, seek seeking, respite from anything that takes away from your peace. The hermit is a major arcana energy, number nine. And nine is always abundance. So this is the hermit, and he doesn't he doesn't come out until he's absolutely certain. That what he, what he has learned, he believes, and that he can share it with you. Usually shown as a guy that's holding up a lantern, and he has a big cape on, and he's standing up on a hill. This is a normal picture of the hermit. And he's up on this hill overlooking everything that he's used to dealing with. And he's really, really introspecting and really making sense of this. What's crossing the hermit? The devil no wonder. There have been some trials. That's why you're craving peace and craving calmness. And you have to get away to do that. You're going to have to go within. This is a, this is a serenity reading. It's going to require you to go within. This right here is not um, pleasant energy. It, it means that you're being harassed. You're being tempted. You've been tempted. Someone's gotten in your face. Someone's like calling you up on things. Um, I'm not going to go into that part too much because we all know what the devil represents. We know that it represents temptation and trials um, or even lascivious behaviors. Anything that is not serene, there's nothing serene about the devil. His dude comes in and makes promises he can't keep that energy. Okay, so um, 
your healing card is the Six of Cups. This is where, when you're in the hermit stage, you're in the hermit stage. You've got Six of Swords, which is taking your great revelations, the true knowledge, the victories that you, you've gotten the victory over this devil. You have strength and you've got the victory over this devil because your goal is to find your peace of mind. The Six of Cups is like reminiscing of things that make you pl please you and make you happy. It's like people coming back into your life that serve your purpose, that are loving and that know you. This is like you remin reminiscing your childhood. The things that actually worked for you gave you some serenity. That's what this is. Let's see what your external influences are. Princess of Swords. Um, this could also, again, you're back at this energy of the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, this Princess of Swords can be, she's very immature, it's young energy. Um, but she brings truth, but she can bring it very sharp and very harsh, very fast. And this is the way you are technically known to be is very I'm on it I'm on it like a bad habit and I'm going to do it quick and I'm not going to waste any time bringing you this knowledge now it could be just your passion y'all I mean you're brilliant 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 um, Aries and I'm going to take a look at your in, in, internal card internal healing what you can do to heal yourself Wow. This is um, the Eight of Wands. This is a fire card. This card is representing your very own energy as well. And this is the communication card. A uh, lot of communication, um, expediency and communication. I don't know if it's going to be communicating your needs and, and thoughts, all the revelations and, and achievements you made. By going within and going to your peaceful place, speaking your truth, going to your peaceful place, finding your peace, accepting that it's there, and knowing that you can go deep into your past and pull what really serves you well and carry that into your future. The Eight of Wands is about communication. That kind of tells me, Aries, that you're going to have to speak your peace to whatever this is right here. Stand up for yourself. If you're writing a book, write a book. If you're teaching a class, teach a class. If you're teaching students, teach students. If you're writing a journal, write your journal. This is all this is strictly about how you can heal. And you got it again this month. In your monthly reading it was the same thing. Write. And I don't know why, but it's a fast moving energy, you know, represented by Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So, your Aries, obviously, it applies to you. But so, however this applies to you, take it, okay? However, you can do your communication. Um, I think that even if you were to write write about your experiences as in your hermiting stage and how you overcame the devil energy, touche. Teach us how it's done, okay? And your revelation card is the High Priestess. Oh my goodness. So many of us are experiencing her. I think this energy has a lot to do with this guidance. This, so many of you guys are in this time period of being, <clears throat> you're being um, presented with this esoteric information from the spirit realm, from the universe, from uh, Tarot even, okay? And trusting that um, everything will be beautiful for you. See the... High Priestess, it's a very feminine energy for one. It doesn't necessarily have to be. I mean, she's got the yin-yang here. The She's leaning both hands, one on a dark pillar, one on a light pillar, and the moon in the back and the stars. So that tells me that this is more like um, psychic stuff, uh, going in and finding your own revelations, trusting ancient knowledge to help you understand and connecting with the divine sources of all things. 
And so, Aries, I don't know what else to tell you, but this is the reading for you. And I hope you've been able to glean some good out of it. Um, if it doesn't apply, it doesn't apply, okay? Like I said, you can go to other readers. I always encourage that because I'm not the only one here. But this is my offering to you. I love you very much, and I want to see you be happy. So, should this settle well with you and you want to know more, I'm happy to do a reading for you personally. Pull your cards, see what we can do to help you. Um, and give you some further information. Um, I'm here for you to communicate with you should you want to discuss anything. Uh, you contact me at robinsrealmreadings at gmail.com and tell me what you think. Um, like and subscribe these videos so I can keep bringing you messages. And I want to say thank you for coming back and visiting me and being on my channel. I love you very much. That's your reading until the end of May. I'll see y'all in June. Blessings from Robin's Realm Readings. Bye, Aries.